This is today's cleaning, decluttering, tidying, you name it. I have free range to do as I please and I am so excited. I've got three hours with a babysitter, so let's go. My favorite method is the pile method. So basically just taking everything and anything you can, putting it into the middle of the room and sorting into individual piles. Now that I have left this home, I find it quite funny because I kept finding fish related items and I could not for the life of me find their fish. I was like, oh, I guess it must have passed away or who knows. But in watching my video during the editing process, I can see the fish clearly zooming around its bowl on that little pillar there. Now that I've got things somewhat sorted, I brought a shelf from home because after my client had sent me some photos of her place, I realized that she's really got not a ton of furniture or storage that's really working for her, which is kind of the problem when things become overwhelming. It's because everything ends up on the floor, right? It needs to be brought up and you need to make use of the space that you have. She's got tons of space, tons of wall space. This place can use a lot more shelving in my opinion. started sorting stuffies and putting them into these totes that I found. So how I've separated things, I've got a pile of bags, a pile of plushies, a pile of kid toys. I put all the clothing off to the side here and fabrics and such. Garbage, recycling, hardware, tools, pantry items and medicines. I try to eliminate things that just take up more room. So when you have a huge box of diapers with one pack of diaper in it and that kind of thing, break down the box and take out that pack, which can go into a drawer or organized in some other way. Again, I found another box of diapers, which I think just takes up less space being put up on the shelf here rather than in a large box on the floor. Now, these types of areas are my favorite to sort. I love just little knickknacks, recycling, garbage, just stuff. I know that's usually the part that people hate most and they find most overwhelming, but I think it's just different when it's not your own things. It's kind of like a little treasure on it, like what is under here? And when you really break it down, it's not so bad. You remove all the recycling, it gets taken down a notch. You remove the garbage, it gets taken down a notch. You take the lotions, the sun creams, chapsticks, bathroom type things, they go into the bathroom. You pick out all the clothes, they go into the clothes pile. And pretty soon, it's you know half the size is what it was. So I can totally see how as a whole this can be overwhelming for someone, but really just break it down, go through the whole pile and pick out all the garbage, then go through the whole pile and pick out all the recycling, whole pile, all the electronics. You see where I'm getting with this and it'll eventually be gone. Well, 
maybe not gone gone because this isn't my house after all so I can't just get rid of everything or do as I please entirely. I like to keep a little box with important paperwork or miscellaneous items that I just I don't know where they go or they don't have a home yet so they get just left on the table there but it's much better. Again, I like to break down big boxes that aren't really full, just because they just take up too much floor space and we need our space back. So my toiletries pile got further broken down. I've got cleaners, hair supplies, makeup, um, and then a bag of lip chaps. And then I've put them in this little tote with everything else bathroom related to go into the restroom. Now for one of my favorite things, kids' toys. I know this is probably a parent's nightmare, but I just love it. I love looking at all these little knickknacks and sorting them. I picked through and took out all these little gems and jewels. I know a lot of people would just sweep them up and throw them away probably, but as a little kid, I always appreciated having my little treasures. So I made sure to set those aside. After clearing out the drawers, I put fake food at the bottom, the middle one is kind of a mishmash of toys, and then the top one I ended up doing dog poop bags because where I end up putting the shelf in the end, the kid shouldn't be able to reach the top shelf anyway, so that's just something for the parents to easily access. I just love setting up kids' play areas just because I know how much joy it brings them. Now off to the kitchen. Before anyone leaves any comments saying, how can you let it get like that? Just know, a half day at my house, I cannot believe how many dishes, food scraps, just grime, you name it, builds up in just a half day with two kids. So I can totally relate to how it can get this way easily. And if you don't believe me or don't understand how, then just consider yourself lucky. So first things first, I go in and remove all garbage, spoiled foods, and take away all the recycling, as well as condiments and other food type items that are fine, and I put them all off to the side. Once all that is cleared away, I am just left with dishes. So I go through and scrape any dishes that have food leftovers in it and pre-soak any items that might need a little more time. And off I go. of the kitchen and notice a friend who has now been evicted. So with the kitchen I managed to do all the dishes, wipe off the countertop. I didn't really get into deep cleaning such as wiping off the drawers and that sort of thing. Over here I put sort of medicine cabinet type things and miscellaneous items. I've organized the kids section over here.
got the couch cleared off. I would love to move the couch and get under it next time. Here I have hardware and paints and that sort of thing. A big clothing section, again, something else I'd like to tackle at a later date. And then another little toy area for the child. So all in all, I was here three and a half hours. So I got a lot more done than I expected, but I do hope to return. In the hallway here, I've put recycling as well as a bag of garbage to go. And then with the kitchen, I actually ended up putting away about half of these dishes before I left. And unfortunately, I was unable to get to the bathroom or the bedrooms this time around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed decluttering as much as I did. I've got a few more jobs lined up similar to this one, so I hope to be posting those in the near future. So please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I truly appreciate the support on this new venture of mine.